Hello friends, in this video I will explain how you can execute your APM tests in uh, cloud uh, test providers like Browser Strike or the Source Labs or similar test providers. So it is very simple basically uh, what you have to do is you have to create your account on the Browser Stack or Cloud uh, Source Labs and uh, once you create the account you will get a username and access key which you can use to uh, write the tests or connect to uh, this browser stack or uh, source lab servers so basically what you have to do is you have to pass these capabilities so this is straightforward device name OS origin this project build this can be customized you can pass based upon uh, what what is the build number so if you have integrated your tests with the CI continuous integration servers you can get that build number dynamically here you can also set the project the name of the test and then uh, here you can pass this browser stack app url so what you have to do is you have to upload the uh, app on the browser stack or the source lab server and then they will provide you one url which you can use it here and after that uh, all of the code is same basically uh, you have to create the instance of the driver using this syntax but here you can see that in the url you have to pass that username and access key uh, which you can get when you create the account so because uh, without that uh, this it will not create the session it needs the authorization or authentication to create the new sessions based upon this username and access key and then uh, we are in the second parameter we are passing these capabilities and rest of the things uh, is same like what we have seen in the previous lectures create the driver and then after the driver is created find the elements perform the operations all the steps are in the same so here a main uh, difficulty that you can uh, find here is when you are uploading this app so here they have given this tutorial on how you can upload the app to browser stack and the same way you can do it in source labs as well so basically what uh, they have provided is this endpoint and uh, what we have to do is we have to give the path of the apk file or uh, any iOS app file uh, path you have to give here and then what will happen is remember that you have to also give username and access key and then it will upload your application onto the browser stack server and it will return the hash app id which you can use in the capability there is other way also uh, here they have given upload app from the public location that is also possible that is another way to upload the app once the app is on the browser stack server it's all simple just pass that uh, app url in this capability and that's it this app will be launched for you if you are facing any difficulty here let me through the comments thank you for watching this video